Well, good Thursday evening. It is weather for weather geeks. We're going to uh, talk about the uh, weekend. January making a little bit of a comeback here over the next couple of days, but we'll talk about the longer range some as usual. In today's video, a question many are asking is, hey, where is the snow? We had a nice day today. The sun was shining for parts of the day. We got into the mid 40s this afternoon, but of course, snow has been lacking so far this winter season at the Youngstown Warren Airport. 14.2 inches shy of average through today's date. We have double digit deficits in a lot of northern Ohio and into northwest PA. The total at the airport is up to uh, just a paltry 8.7 inches so far this winter season. Through today's date, last winter we had recorded 11.4. That was also well below the average. Average is about 22, 23 inches by uh, this deep into the uh, winter season. So the last two winters off to very slow starts. Last winter, we made up a lot of ground during the second half of January and the first half of February. Remains to be seen if we'll do that again this winter, but you know, whenever I post a graphic like that, inevitably I'm gonna get a couple of comments, particularly on Facebook. Uh, there's no way we've gotten that much uh, snow. I've only had, you know, six inches or three inches or whatever. Remember, whenever I throw out these statistics, they're for the Youngstown Ward Airport in Vienna. Uh, we can look at uh, some of our more localized area here and, and pick out where there's been a little bit more, a little bit less so far this winter season. Everywhere where you see blue, that's six inches or more for the winter. Where we have these grays, yeah, that's under six inches. So if you live in a place like Lisbon, East Palestine, Columbiana, uh, Elwood City, uh, places like that, you've only seen one, two, three inches at most worth of snow so far this winter season. All right, today, no snow. It was just a fine day. We had uh, some sunshine at sunrise this morning and actually it turned pretty bright for a handful of hours today, allowing temperatures to get into the mid forties, cooler than the last couple of days, but still a good 10 or 11 degrees warmer than the average for the first part of January. So we did plus 11 as far as the departure from average at the airport today. We matched that in Pittsburgh and New Philly, Akron and Cleveland also at plus 11 this afternoon. Wheeling had to be a little bit different at plus 12. All right, as of this recording at 7.07, uh, some precipitation on the radar. The leading edge of this, a lot of this is not quite reaching the ground with a little bit of dry air still in the low levels of the atmosphere eating some of this up. But it will begin to rain, I think, before the evening is through in most spots. It'll be light. A couple of snowflakes will try to mix in for a couple of hours. Then this will become mostly just uh, flurry activity as we head through the overnight and the atmosphere continues to cool. We'll get up on a Friday morning with a scattering of flurries. It's going to kind of feel like January for a change as we wrap up the week on Friday. Flurries will come and go. I'm looking for pretty low impacts through the daylight hours. Now, as we get into tomorrow evening, I think there'll be a little bit of an uptick in snow shower and flurry activity. Uh, past sunset, maybe up through 9, 10, 11 o'clock. This might be enough to give us some fresh coatings and lead to a few slick surfaces again Friday evening. Then flurries linger for the rest of Friday night, first thing Saturday morning. Clouds hang tough through most of Saturday, some clearing Saturday night before clouds return on Sunday, but not expecting much out of these clouds on Sunday aside from a, a renegade rain or a snow shower by the end of the afternoon. The vast majority of the moisture is down here, closer to our area of low pressure. All right, so the snowfall amounts will be very, very modest from now through Friday night. Up in the primary snow belts with a little help from the lake. Could someone see an inch or two or three? Parts of Geauga Lake, Ashtabula, Crawford, and Erie counties. Yeah, maybe even a handful of inches once you get up towards I-90 in northwest PA and into southwest New York. In our local TV viewing area, an inch or less should about do it. But don't discount the possibility, again, especially Friday evening, don't discount the possibility that some coverings, some little candy coatings will make things a little bit slick here and there for a handful of hours, even though amounts will be fairly modest, very modest, in fact. All right, next 10 days. After a seasonable weekend, temperatures jump back into the 40s. First half of next week, that puts us again about 10 or 11 above average. We'll see a bit of a cool down by Wednesday, Thursday, perhaps into Friday. But I think next weekend we'll begin another warming trend that will take us maybe up through the 20th or so. Uh, and so we don't see any sort of sustained cold anytime in the next couple of weeks. Long range trends here. I think we've got a good two weeks or more left in the tank as far as this generally mild pattern across the lower 48 states east of the Rockies. I do think there'll be some changes towards the end of January, sometime between, say, the 23rd and 30th. Um, there's probably going to be a pattern change that introduces more cold, more chances for snow into the pattern, and uh, that probably continues into at least the first week of February. But until then, it's kind of snooze and cruise. Now, it can snow in a pattern like this. We're going to get a little bit the next 24 hours. We're going to keep an eye on a potential system at the end of next week that might flirt with the area might be more of an east coast thing 
might not be much of a thing at all, but that looks to be the next thing to keep an eye on. It's towards the end of next week. We can get some snow in a pattern that's generally mild. We're into the coldest time of the year, climatologically speaking, but uh, when it comes to sustained cold and several frequent opportunities for snow and things like that, that just doesn't look like it's in the cards uh, for the next couple of weeks. Maybe we'll make up for some lost time at the end of January and into February. Thanks for watching tonight's weather. For Weather Geeks, let's do it again tomorrow on Friday. Make sure you're following me on all the social media outlets, including, as many of you are watching right now, on YouTube. Search for Eric WFMJ on YouTube to find my channel.